Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to Need Video. Today I'm going to show you the best streaming settings that you should use for your streams. And uh, let's get right into it. If you guys don't already know, I stream on Twitch every single day except Sundays. Link down in the description below. And if you like these types of videos and you would like to see more, please don't forget to drop a like, comment and subscribe. Let's get into the video and uh, let me show you the best settings that you should use for your streams. Let's go. So here we are in the OBS. As you can see, I'm recording right now. Uh, we, I'm using OBS Live, which is the Stream Elements OBS. It's basically the OBS plugin. Um, it's basically the stock OBS, just uh, with a bit more features. I really prefer Stream Elements. I used to use Streamlabs back in the day, but since I switched to this, I just I loved it. I don't know. So if we go to settings, we can start with the basics. General. Here we have the language. The language uh, I have obviously set to English because I speak English. Theme. Um, now it's set to dark, but I usually use system, which is white. And that gives me like, um, like a light to my face, like an extra light for my face, which is great. Uh, if you want to do that, that's a little trick you can do. Everything else over here is uh, set to default. I don't touch any of this stuff. Then we have the stream. So over here, obviously, you choose the service wherever you stream. I stream on Twitch, so Twitch uh, server. Uh, you can choose the closest server to you and the best, like the best ping. Uh, this is for me, Germany, Frankfurt. Um, if you want to test it out, you can enable bandwidth test mode, then do the test stream, see how it goes. If it's, if it's not dropping any frames, then you're fine. Uh, Twitch chat add-ons, obviously, better TTV and Franker phase, whoever's not using this. Go watch my latest video, and uh, trust me, you should definitely use these two plugins. Output, the most important thing. Here we have, so streaming. Encoder, you can choose either uh, NVIDIA NVENC or X264. The NVIDIA NVENC encoder is basically everything goes through your GPU and then it goes to the stream. Uh, if you use X264, everything goes through your CPU. So it depends what you have better. If you have 20 series cards and above uh, NVIDIA, obviously, then you should go for NVIDIA NVENC. If you have a bit lower GPUs, I would recommend uh, X264. I usually use uh, this, I have a GTX 1080, by the way, and it runs perfectly fine. In four streaming and uh, service encoder settings, yes. Rescale output, uh, you should set this up to uh, 1080p if you're a partner. Uh, if you're not a partner, I would not recommend streaming in other anything other than 720p because uh, people with uh, worse internet connections won't be able to watch your videos and it will, it will just lag out and it's just not worth it in the long term. Uh, rate control. I have to say to CBR is just one of the best uh, rate controls I've uh, experienced and I've, I've tested out. Bit rate, uh, you should stream at 3,500 to 4,000 bit rate if you are an affiliate. Again, uh, unless you're a partner, you should not stream at more than that because if people with worse internet connections, like mine, for example, I have a really bad internet, if they watch, uh, they will lag out, especially because affiliates don't have guaranteed transcoding, which is the quality change thingy. They won't be able to uh, change the quality and do all of that stuff. So I would recommend keeping it on 4,000 uh, bit rate over here. Again, you can do whatever, but I, I would recommend like 4,000. If you're a partner, you can go up to 8,000. Uh, keyframe interval, I have it set to two. It's uh, the best that I've tested out. Preset, max quality, obviously, because you want top quality. Profile, main. Uh, look ahead, none, and then a psycho visual tuning uh, on. GPU zero and max B frames set to two. After you do that, you should be perfectly fine. Once you do that, go to audio. Uh, you can uh, just switch up every track to have the highest audio bit rate, which is 320. I think default is 160. So make sure to change that to 320, all of those, and you should be fine. Uh, oh, oh yeah, the, at the beginning, you should change this to output mode advanced. I know I forgot, I forgot to say that, but I mean, it should be obvious. Uh, audio. In this tab, sample rate, I think now it's defaulted to 48 kilohertz. Uh, if it's not, definitely set it to 48 kilohertz. It's a big difference between 44.1K. Um, channels, stereo, obviously. Over here, you set up your uh, audio devices. I use a Go XLR, so I have it set to uh, system, and then my microphone is just my chat mic. Uh, whatever your microphone and whatever your uh, uh, headphones and your speakers are, set them right here. Everything else, do not touch... Uh, video over here, base canvas resolution is your monitor resolution. So put this to your native monitor resolution, mine is 1440p. So I have it set to, to that, obviously. Output scale resolution, 
is uh, the same thing. I, I do this because I record in 2K. So I have these same, like two resolutions set to same thing. But then in output uh, streaming, I have it rescaled over here to 720p. I stream in 720p uh, because, again, I have some internet issues. But definitely, I streamed in 1080p when my internet was fine. Uh, no problemo at all. You can just set it to 1080p over here. Uh, back, to, back to video. Downscale filter. Uh, Landsaws, I'm pretty sure it said. Uh, that's the best quality filter. That way your stream um, is not as blurry as um, some other streams. That's the best quality. And then obviously common FPS 60 because who streams in 30 FPS now? And uh, that is it. Like there's nothing else uh, you should change over here. Hotkeys, that's up to you. And everything else is the same. Only thing you can change is uh, rent like... Uh, process priority you can change this to high if your pc is struggling i would not recommend switching this at all just keep it on normal uh you can switch your color formats to nv12 if it's not already i'm not sure if this is default and then color space i have it set to 601 and then color range full so you get that full color quality and you should be fine and uh basically that is all you have to do once you do that you should be perfectly fine and uh and yeah if you do like this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't know, only 5% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. So please help me change that. Go drop a sub. And again, I do stream on Twitch every day except Sundays. Link down in the description below. I'll see you guys around in the next video. Uh, if you do like this one, let me know and I'll record the recording, like best recording settings as well. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.